what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i kind of just want to ask you guys and kind of touch on some other things i already have made clear in a lot of my videos but what do you guys want to see from screen 5 because at this point i feel like the issue with a lot of fans of the franchise and a lot of the general public who aren't diehard fans of the franchise but they know about what has happened and they know who ghostface is they know what this franchise is about the biggest issue that i'm seeing is that a lot of people are scared of this series retreading on familiar territory already such as revisiting a secret sibling or a secret child or any type of familial revenge storyline a lot of people are afraid that that's where we're going to go back down you know people don't want to see or not necessarily don't want to see but they don't want to feel like there's nothing else that this franchise can do if it's doing the same thing over and over and over again but then to to the point of what i want to say about that is when we have concerns like that that just goes to show you a movie doesn't always need a sequel scream was very fine just being a one and done movie i'm grateful that we have the franchise that we have love it don't think it's a like a mind-blowing franchise or anything like that but it's a very good horror franchise that has basically inspired a lot of other things that have come out in modern horror the, the modern horror era and it's inspired a lot of stuff that came out shortly after scream debuted in 1996 even though one of them i know what you did last summer that was actually written way before scream was even a thing if i'm not mistaken uh but yeah a lot of people are just nervous that we could be retreading on familiar territory i've already told what my theory is i honestly think we're gonna end up getting Stu's little brother or something related to the mockers because i don't see this mocker house coming back for nothing and even then before all of that i was talking about this before we even got any concrete details on what exactly would be happening with screen five i thought about judy hicks being involved mixing it up with Stu's little brother now i'm dropping judy hicks and i'm just thinking they're probably going to do Stu's little brother somehow this could be a brother who i did kind of touch on this in my theory with judy hicks this could be a brother who grew up outside of woodsboro born after Stu was Stu's death heartbroken parents the mockers moved out of town because the town of woodsboro was just too much of a torture chamber for them in ways maybe one more so than the other let's say it's Stu's mom tough time coping living in a house where you know your your son died your son's best friend died and then your son and his best friend terrorized a bunch of teens here he, you know he killed his girlfriend in your garage you know all of that stuff probably triggered a lot for them and you know maybe they were people who lived in the town of woodsboro where other residents weren't wouldn't let them just live in a peaceful life they probably blamed them for a lot of things who knows how the Beckers responded because we don't know how the Beckers responded when they found out about who the killers were because Casey's parents, to the best of our knowledge, they were alive at the end of the screen. How did they respond to the mockers? Did a lot of people take take their anger out on the mockers? Who knows? Did, did the mockers receive death threats from victims or from family of the other victims? Who knows? That could all play into how that would affect a child that's born out of just guilt and heartbreak and them wanting to erase stew from their mind not in not in a literal sense but of course in a sense of let's get let's go beyond this and let's have a have another good son and raise him and learn from our mistakes that we made with stew so just to fill that void and that hole that you have in your heart knowing that your son could be responsible for such heinous things uh so maybe that's what what's going to happen and then that would of course affect this child because this child has a brother they never knew but the brother is probably responsible for a lot of the different methods that have been inf inflicted on him while he was being raised there's probably a lot of tension in the home because again these could have these parents the mockers could have struggled to cope with the thought of what their son did and how the town responded to them and they were probably ran out of woodsboro or something like that but you know even then a lot of people would wonder well why didn't sydney or dewey or gail mention this in previous sequels i mean it's clearly obvious why they didn't it this is clearly a new an, an idea that hasn't been a thing from the start it's no different than if Stu was just alive no one no one mentioned Stu being alive because this isn't an idea that's been conceived from the start but you know when you're doing sequel after sequel after after sequel you have to do something i've seen people speculate on some type of cult i've even done a theory talking about the dark web being being involved i've seen people speculate on maybe there's a cult of 
Stab fans that just are huge Sidney Prescott fans. There's people who are big conspiracy theorists about what really went down with the Woodsboro killings. And they're trying to make Stu and Billy out to be some type of heroes in a way. And they're trying to honor them and respect them. But I don't see that happening. I really think we're going to get another familiar, familial relation revenge angle. And while it may seem boring, trust me when I say this, I trust that these writers are going to make it feel fresh. Even though it's a retread, what matters is how is this retread done? Are we going to get something that's just flipping characters, but it's the same thing? So, for instance, I've seen some things online talking about Sydney having a secret child, gave it up for adoption, the child's back, wants revenge. I've even done a video about that. While I wouldn't necessarily mind it, yes, that is the same thing as Scream 3. Instead of Marine, though, it's Sydney, and instead of Roman, it's this new child. I don't think people will have an issue with retreading if the retread is done in a fresh manner. Stu's little brother and a whole backstory about a brother who was born after his demise and how the mocker's lives were affected from the fallout of the events of the first film and how that has affected this child and how he is probably dating because I, I think this is Richie. Uh, Jack Quaid's character how this is affecting his relationship with uh, Sam Carpenter played by Melissa Barrera and then also considering the fact that we're going to be incorporating that with the Carpenter family how is that connected to the Carpenter family that's that's what's making this fresh it's not just Sydney it's something with the Carpenters too Stu's brother could have a connection tying him to Sydney and the Carpenters and that's what will keep this fresh. Even though it's a retread, yeah, we're back with another sibling or secret child. We have uh, something that's making it fresh because of the manner in which it's being done. It's not just a frame for frame retread that we've gotten in the past. There's different elements to it that make it feel fresh, that make it feel important, that make it feel relevant. And I honestly think that's what will happen. But what would you guys like to see from Scream if you don't want to see anything that has to do with family? Because that's honestly what this franchise has been about from the get go. Family, revenge, disloyalty and a lot of all all the stuff that you would find with any family. That's what Scream has been centered around for far too long. And I don't see them kind of going away from that completely. If they do, they do. But I don't see that. I, I think we're going to get something very similar to the other other sequels. It is just going to be done in a fresh manner. But let me know what you guys think about it. What do you want to see in Screen 5? Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.